I was on a committee to help come up with the Discover Display um, 3Ds. And in my back of my mind, Science Olympiad was the driving force of those 3D, to discover something. I'm gonna open up a topic of anatomy and physiology. Okay, that's, you're just discovering. Then the whole process, the months of preparation is literally developing. And then you actually have a chance to display in a competition. But we wanna display it in such a way that we not only display our ability to do whatever the task is, but also to do it with grace and peace, to be salt and light in a really fallen world. Science Olympiad is a combination of 23 events where 15 students compete on a one-day event. If they are interested in sciences, then they can see, okay, well, what area of science in particular am I interested in? Is it the biology, the chemistry, the engineering, you know, those different things. The 23 different events cover such a wide variety of, like, building skills, technical skills, or straight up, you know, topical skills like astronomy or water quality but just to give them an avenue to explore something that they might be interested in. And that when that interest gets fired up and the depth of information is not so huge that it's not the whole world, but it's pretty big, it's college level stuff, but they start to unpack it and then they get to feel, wow, I'm starting to really see how this is put together and that's pretty amazing. How? And then you can take that right up into a, an appreciation of what God has done for us. It's a program where I can use my creativity and build and uh, engineer things. And in any other program, like in other sports, I'm not able to do that. We're encouraged to pour into these students' lives. And you get to do that standing in front of them as a teacher. But at Science Olympiad, you're sitting one-on-one, one-on-two -on -one, with these students and, and working with them. It just deepens the relationship that you have with these students. The 20 kids that are in the Science Olympiad know us at a whole nother level, because they see us at our most frustrating, you know, when we're on, at our wit's end as well. And it's good for us to model, okay, what do you do when you are, when it just broke again? We all have problems every day that come up for us. They need to be able to think through the problem in a logical fashion, come up with an idea of how to solve it, and be willing to then try those solutions, knowing they're not all gonna work, and continue to try and, and work through a problem. If they can leave here with a solid basis of how to do that kind of problem solving, I'd say job well done. Yeah. I think the teachers here are very encouraging and they won't solve problems for you. They push you to solve them yourself. And then when you're stuck, they will help you. But I think being able to be pushed like that is helpful. Both Carl and I have taken on the idea that whatever we take to the regionals is the student's work. And so we guide them, we teach them how to use certain things, but at the end of the day, what they present that day is their built machine. When I'm comparing myself to the whole Illinois school population, it's a good feeling for them to know, yeah, I can do this. Even if it was a mountain of stuff, they were able to conquer more of the mountain than some other teams. and that makes them feel pretty good. The students that we have here have the ability to compete against the top students in the state. There's times where the, you see just a joy in the students watching a tower be built and then it withstood and it got this score. But just watching that joy in the students' eyes of, I got this score, is really kind of a uh, cool moment mm -hmm. to see this is your time and, and you realize here because of what you did how great it is. The world is really fallen and no more in a science community. I think that's the maximum place you could fall is they are looking for a way out and trying to use science and we're going headlong in there and proclaiming the, the love of Christ in that situation and it's it's a challenge but it's a wonderful challenge. And in first place Division C Varsity, the event robot arm, Westminster Christian High School.